Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about PS90s. Now this is my PS90 SBR, which means it has a short barrel. But most of you guys out there that buy these don't have SBRs. They have a regular 16 inch barrel. And that barrel has a barrel shroud over it. So you have a pencil barrel underneath a shroud that makes the barrel look bigger. I want to show you guys an accessory for the PS90 that will not only enhance the appearance of your 16 inch barrel, but it'll give you additional functionality, like a threaded end. With that thread, you can put on regular AR-15 type muzzle attach attachments like flash suppressors, or even put on sound suppressors. So let's take a look at that product. This is a standard PS90 with a standard 16 inch barrel. On the barrel itself, you'll see that this is the new Huntertown Arms barrel shroud. Has an MSRP of $189. You'll notice here on the end of the barrel it's threaded. This is a standard 1 half by 28 thread, which is a standard AR-15 style thread. So any AR-15 type attachment will fit on the end of the barrel. Also with the spacer that comes with the sleeve, you can attach a sound suppressor, a 22 sound suppressor, or without using the spacer you can put standard 5.56 cans on this rifle. Now a lot of states like Michigan, for example, will allow you to have suppressors, but they won't allow you to have an SBR. So you can put this barrel shroud on your gun, and it should be installed by a gunsmith according to Huntertown Arms, but you can do it yourself if you have the necessary tools and skills. You put this barrel shroud on, and now you can put a suppressor on your, your non-SBR PS90. Also, if you don't want to do the whole process of going through and, and setting this rifle up as an SBR, it can be a pain and, and quite a bit challenging right now. At one time when I SBR'd my PS90, you could get CMMG barrels for the guns. Those barrels are no longer existent and the price of those barrels has skyrocketed if you can find them. So the other option is to have your, your factory barrel cut down, have a, a special device made, a threaded attachment for the end of the barrel so you can put on flash suppressors and things like that. And it could get pretty expensive, at least $600 or more, to convert this to an SBR. And then you have the $200 tax stamp on top of that. For the price of a tax stamp, or actually less than the price of a tax stamp, you can put this shroud on your rifle and give yourself the ability to put different muzzle attachments on it, including suppressors. Let's take a look at the rifle being fired with the new shroud in place. Now another nice feature of the barrel shroud is that it doesn't shorten the length of the barrel, obviously. So you maintain your higher muzzle velocity with standard ammunition. Let's take a look at this being fired with a suppressor really quick. To put a suppressor on the rifle, I'm clearing the rifle to make sure it's safe. You don't want to do this, obviously, with a round in the chamber. This is a Kestrel 5.56 can. You've seen it in few, uh, past videos. I've used it before. And I can thread this suppressor right onto the barrel. And you don't have to worry about having this shroud aligned to the bore of the barrel. That's all taken care of at the factory. So once you place this shroud on the gun, you can screw a suppressor on and everything should work just fine. No baffle strikes. I'm going to go ahead and load the weapon up, take a couple shots with it, see how it sounds. I'm going to take my ears off for this. It's nice and quiet. It's very comfortable to shoot without ears on. Now this is with the Kestrel 5.56 can, which is, you know, 223 or 5.56 sound suppressor. You can also put a 22 suppressor on the rifle using this setup, but you'll want to make sure that it has stainless steel baffles in that 22. You don't want to use aluminum baffles because this 5.7 by 28 millimeter cartridge is just a little bit too hot for a standard 22 can. Let's take a look at it with a Huntertown 22 Guardian suppressor on this rifle. Here's my Huntertown Arms 22 Guardian Suppressor, and this one has been upgraded with the stainless steel baffles that you've seen on my Ruger Mark III pistol here. I'm going to go ahead and take this suppressor off, the Mark III, and then I'm going to put it on the PS90. Now before you do this, you'll want to use the spacer that Huntertown Arms will give you with the shroud when you buy the kit. The spacer gives it the proper depth of thread into the 22 suppressor. So you'll only want to use this spacer with 22 cans. I'm going to screw my Guardian on. All right, now I'm going to grab my eyes really quick and then we'll fire this and show you what this sounds like.
Yeah, that works really nice. It's not quite as quiet as the 5.56 can, but it's still really quiet and it seems comfortable to shoot. So that's a pretty nice setup. Works really well. Installation of the shroud will require you to remove a blind pin that's holding the shroud to the factory barrel. A quarter inch fluted end mill should be used or a quarter inch drill bit as an alternative. Huntertown Arms recommends using an end mill versus a drill bit because the drill bit can walk off the rounded contours of the barrel. If you opt to use a drill bit, use extreme caution to avoid damaging the factory shroud. Make sure the pin is perpendicular to the mill table. Go slowly checking the depth often to make sure you don't drill into the barrel itself. Once you see the pin, stop removing material. Once you have the pin exposed, use an appropriately sized punch to drift the pin out. To loosen the barrel shroud, you will need to thin a 15 mm wrench to properly engage the slot on the chamber end of the barrel. Turning the barrel clockwise will loosen the barrel shroud. It's important that you do not pull the barrel out of the receiver once it's loose. Leave the barrel in the receiver and remove the shroud. Remove the barrel shroud from the packaging and slip it over the end of the barrel. There is a flat side on the shroud that indexes with the rifle's receiver. This will keep the shroud from turning when you tighten the barrel back down. To tighten the barrel, use the thinned 15mm wrench to turn the barrel counterclockwise. Snug the barrel, but don't over tighten it. Now you can reassemble your rifle. Once it's back together, it's ready to have a sound suppressor, flash suppressor, or other AR-15 compatible muzzle device installed. Alright guys, it's time for some final thoughts on the barrel shroud from Huntertown Arms for the PS90. The barrel shroud retails for $189. You can purchase it from the link in the description below. The barrel shroud has a 7 8 inch diameter, constant diameter all the way down. Now the factory barrel shroud will taper slightly, so this gives the bull barrel appearance to this barrel shroud. I think it looks really good. The barrel shroud itself is made out of aluminum, and then the threads on the end are actually made out of stainless steel, and it has a black oxide, uh, oxide finish on the, the stainless steel threads, and it's an anodized black finish on the aluminum part of the barrel shroud. Overall, it's nice. It doesn't add any weight to the rifle by itself. Once you put a can on it, it does add some weight. I have the 22 suppressor on it right now. I had the Kestrel 556 can on the end of it originally, earlier in the video, and that is quite a bit heavier, makes it very muzzle heavy. But with this Guardian 22 suppressor on here, it really doesn't change the, the balance of the weapon too much from its original factory balance. And if you don't have a suppressor and you just want to be able to put a birdcage flash hider or something like that on here, you can do that with the standard 1 half by 28 threads that are on the end of the shroud. If you guys have any questions about this barrel shroud, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can always find us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash military arms. As always, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions. We'll talk to you guys soon.